Hi, it's Dr. Elisha Van Dusen with New Hope Chiropractic. What is self-sabotage? Well, it's when you engage in behaviors or thoughts that interfere with your long-standing goals, create problems in your life, and these behaviors, whether purposeful or done unconsciously, prevent you from living the life you hope and lead to feelings of insecurity, resentment, and self-judgment. People do it for a variety of reasons, for fear, um, as an outgrowth of their insecurities, or need for control, placing blame, or procrastination. And some signs here of, of you doing this is chronic procrastination, persistent self-defeating thoughts, thinking that you're never good enough, putting yourself down, emotional eating, avoiding tasks, tasks that need to be completed, blaming others, looking for instant gratification, being unable to achieve even short-term goals, never being satisfied, even after achieving a goal, and pushing away or picking fights with people who love you. And it's kind of like living your life with one foot on the, or driving a car with one foot on the gas and one foot on the brakes at the same time. So how do you stop self-sabotaging behaviors? Well, number one, you can create a vision board. It's a form of visualization that helps promote goal setting and makes it easier to prioritize your values, highlighting uh, what you want from your life and how you plan to get there. And keep it in a highly visible place in your, your home, like your bedroom, and really helps stop uh, your self-sabotaging beliefs. And next is pinpoint stressors. To stop self-sabotaging behaviors, you need to identify what triggers them. And when you're feeling stressed or engaging in self-defeating behaviors, write down the situation, how you're feeling, and how you've handled the situation in a journal. And over time, you'll notice patterns. And we'll be able to pinpoint what events trigger your stress and how you can react to them in a healthier way. Next, communicate with loved ones you might be pushing a loved one away because of a relationship pattern you experienced as a child or in the past and journaling can help with this too be sure to communicate with loved ones about your feelings and work uh, on responding positively during conversations in order to build healthier relationships also practice positive self-talk this is very important uh, it's when this is when your internal narrative or inner voice is uplifting and fueled with understanding thoughts and um, like negative self-talk which can lead to low self-esteem and lack of self-worth. Positive self-talk helps reduce stress, increase uh, or decrease anxiety, and encourages healthy habits. So work on changing your self-talk by practicing uh, using positive phrases and focusing on your own personal self-care throughout the day. And also get professional support. If you aren't able to control your self-sabotaging behaviors on your own, maybe time to seek professional support. So. Uh, talk to a therapist or counselor and this helps bring the causes of self-sabotaging to the surface so you can face them and formulate a plan to better respond to triggers and stressors and lastly also I'll get regular chiropractic care because if your spine and nervous system is creating um, uh, pressure on the nervous system impeding its normal function this can also decrease your ability to uh, to uh, respond constructively, constructively to, the, to these issues and can um, rob you of, of energy and strength. So check us out at newhopechiropractic.com and uh, hope these techniques help. And with that, have a very, very healthy day.